I love this city so much. The energy here, especially as like an yeah. artist. Inspired every day, your people watching every day. The you're, fashion is yeah. insane. You're also a big foodie, I hear. Huge foodie. So this is a great city for that. I've been eating my way through it. Um, <laughs> yeah, we found like uh, you know Il Buco is one mm -hmm. of our favorites, but then like now in the village next to the theater is Isodi, mm. and we've been eating our like pizza in Brooklyn all the time, and it's just it's been amazing. So you're a carb burner. I am a yeah. carb eater burner yeah. lover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. that's and, amazing. And you've got a dog too. Has I your do. does your dog Dog like New York City? Because dogs. She's the only part of the family that's having an adjustment period. <laughs> okay. um, she's very prissy. She's yeah. very LA. Oh my gosh! Look how huge <laughs> oh, wow. she is. She she doesn't like the concrete. Like she's having. She's used to grass. Um, <laughs> and so when she actually when she uses the restroom, she goes up into full crow pose so that her back legs will not touch the ground or or her her <laughs> urination on the ground. Uh -huh. no, and it's kidding. the prissiest thing. People have walked by and like laughed at us because she's. <laughs> like walking all funny and like going into crow pose. So, That's yeah. really funny. We have the opposite. Our dog hates grass and especially damp grass. It makes her really nervous. So she will only go on, on the concrete. concrete. Yeah. That's that right such really? a New yeah. York dog. Betty needs to yeah. get it together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's like, hey, what's up? Yeah. I'm over here on the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> and Betty's like, where's my car? Right. <laughs> where's my driver? Yes. What's going on? <laughs> Hey, listen, we have to take a commercial break, but we're going to uh, talk about your dream come true when we return. Okay, more with Beth Bear. So you're starring in a play yes. that has a very long name. We're just going to call it a funny thing. I could tell you the full name if you want to hear. Can you sure. tell us? Yeah. Right. yeah. It's, uh, it's early, but I think I can do it. Okay. A funny thing happened on the way to the gynecologic oncology unit at Sloan Kettering Cancer. No. At Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center of New York City. Wow. Oh my God! Yeah. So, why do you just call it a funny thing? No, I'm just kidding. I know, right? It is makes a great actually, drinking is game. Is there actually, actually a poster actually. that has all that on it? Yes, okay. the marquee at the theater is amazing. They made the letters get smaller and smaller, so by the time you get to New York City, it's like little little letters. It's, it's like really cute. Prints. I think yes. funny asking this, but what is the play about? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's actually it's about uh, two strangers who meet on the gynecologic oncology ward at Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, and kind of how they they find love and laughter through their pain and mm. it's actually really funny and um, it's it's an amazing writer Hallie Pfeiffer and directed mm -hmm. by Trip Coleman and I've been fans of them forever and it's a dream come true I've, I've like New York theater's been my heart and soul since I was five yeah, so yeah. this is like I could not be happier <laughs> and, and opening night you, it's been in previews and then opening night is next Tuesday next how Tuesday. have audiences been I mean do you find I always wonder when you're an actor do you see the audience if people are on their phones do you see that yes we actually just had a preview where um, someone's phone went off twice and it was like at the emotional crux, oh, no. the second one. Right. And two people actually got into a full verbal fight. <gasps> really? At, like as we're on stage, which is on, you know, on Two Broke Girls set or here, you know, you, right. you don't have that, but in live right. theater. So it's definitely a challenge as an actor to keep going through that. And, and so, they obviously were like, yeah, we're over the plate. We just need to have this fight right now. When wow. they were having the fight, did you pause in, like, did you pause to let them finish? No, you must have kept going. Because kept going yeah, because keep going. if you go yeah I mean I, I if I was like you know cool or maybe I would have been like excuse me um, yeah. I'm yeah. acting don't here let the play <laughs> right. oh my yes goodness. well how long is it how long is it the play it's here through yeah. July okay, um, and it's yeah I, I can't recommend it more it's been the best Ooh, experience we're gonna come ever. <laughs> And coming up next, the Extreme Firefighters Workout. Okay. How they, they find love and laughter through their pain, and mm. it's actually really funny. And um, it's, it's an amazing writer, Hallie Pfeiffer, and directed mm -hmm. by Trip Coleman, and I've been fans of them forever. And it's a dream come true. I've, I've like, New York theater's been my heart and soul since I was five. Yeah, so yeah. this is like, I could not be happier. <laughs> and, and opening night, you, it's been in previews, and then opening night is next Tuesday. Next How have audiences been? I mean, do you find, I always wonder when you're an actor, do you see the audience? If people are on their phones, do you see that? Yes, we actually just had a preview where um, someone's phone went off twice, and it was like at the emotional crux, oh, no. the second one. Right. And two people actually got into a full verbal fight. <gasps> really? At, like as we're on stage, which is on you know on two broke girls set or here you know right. you don't have that, but in live right. theater, so it's definitely.
certainly a challenge as an actor to keep going through that. And, and so, they when, obviously were like, yeah, we're over the plate. We just need to have this fight right now. When oh, they were nice. having the fight, did you pause in, like, did you pause to let them finish? No, you must have kept going. We kept going. Yeah, because kept going. if you go, yeah, I mean, I, I, if I was like, you know, cooler, maybe I would have been like, excuse me, um, yeah. I'm <laughs> acting Don't here. Don't let the play <laughs> out, right? Oh my yes. God. Well, how long is it, how long is it the play? It's here through yeah. July. Okay, um, great. And it's, yeah, I, I can't recommend it more. It's been the best Ooh, experience. We're going to come see it. You're people watching every day. The yeah. fashion is yeah. insane. You're also a big foodie, I hear. Huge foodie. So this is a great city for that. I've been eating my way through it. Um, <laughs> yeah, we found, like, uh, you know, Il Buco is one mm -hmm. of our favorites. But then, like, now in the village next to the theater is East Sodi. Mm. And we've been eating our, like, pizza in Brooklyn all the time. And it's just, it's been amazing. So you're a carb burner. I'm a yeah. carb eater burner. Yeah. Lover. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. That's and, amazing. And you've got a dog, too. Has your, do. Does your dog like New York City? Because dogs. She's the only part of the family that's having an adjustment period. <laughs> okay. um, she's very prissy. She's yeah. very LA. Oh my gosh, look how cute <laughs> oh, wow. she is. She, she doesn't like the concrete. Like, she's having, she's used to grass. Um, <laughs> and so when she actually, when she uses the restroom, she goes up into full crow pose so that her back legs will not touch the ground or, or her, her urination on the ground. Uh -huh. no, and it's kidding. the prissiest thing. People have walked by and like laughed at us because <laughs> she's like walking all funny and like going into crow pose. So, That's yeah. really funny. We have the opposite. Our dog hates grass and especially damp grass. It makes her really nervous. So she will only go on, on the concrete. concrete. Yeah. That's that such really a New York yeah. dog. Betty needs to get yeah. it together. Yeah, yeah, she's like, hey, what's up? Yeah. I'm over here on the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> and Betty's like, where's my car? Right. <laughs> where's my driver? Yes. What's going on? <laughs> where's the beach? Hey, listen, we have to take a commercial break, but we're going to uh, talk about...